Okay, so we're going to get started with Simple House here. You can see I've got Casey locked so that he stays in that one spot. And we are working in the primary quadrant where all three colored lines are solid. That axis is showing me quadrant one. If you have the same angle, it'll be easier for you. Now we're going to be using the measurements that are at the bottom of week 20 here. So 12 feet by 30 feet for the first rectangle and then 20 by 10 for the second. So let's go ahead and make that first rectangle clicking here in the origin spot and going in that direction. Be careful you're not pointed this way but you're pointed that way so that the 12 and the 30 are in the right directions. 12 feet comma 30 feet. Feet, remember, is apostrophe. The quotes are for inches. So there I have my rectangle. And I'm going to go to the opposite corner from the origin, click and release, and then bring it down this way. Again, important not to be going in that direction. We know we want it to come back this way, and it's 20 feet by 10 feet. 20 apostrophe comma... 10 apostrophe. That gives you a floor plan that's going to look like this. So it's going to be where our front door is and then windows all the way around. Now right now we have a line that's dividing that space into two different faces. And if I try to pull this up for a roof, only one of them is going to move. So I'm going to use my eraser tool and I'm going to drag over that line, and that's called healing the surface, meaning since they were coplanar, they were both two-dimensional on the same plane, it simply erases those and makes a single shape out of it. We're now going to pull this up 10 feet. So P for push-pull, and you can see as I hover over it, it's going to say when you click and release, this is what is going to be pulled. Just go in the upward direction, 10 feet. When you press enter, you'll have your first 3D shape of the model. Now we are going to create a roof, and we're going to do this a specific way. So we're going to use a reference. When you hover over these um, different edges, it'll show you when you're at the midpoint, but only if you're going to draw a line. L for line tool, clicking right here. So I'm on this face, this edge. And see how it says midpoint? I'm going to click and release. And now I'm ready to draw a line. It snaps to the different axes. So that would actually go straight up in the air. So pay attention to the color so that you know that you're in the right spot. So clicking and releasing. And you have to stop at the midpoint here. By hovering over it, I'm telling SketchUp that's an important distance that I want you to remember. And now I can come over here. And as I go towards that opposite edge, it lets me know when I'm right at the midpoint of that other edge. So again, I can go in any direction, but as long as I've hovered over this for a second and it says midpoint, now it tells me. You don't have to go exactly, but right there, you're at the exact point. How you get there is up to you. I'm going to click and release and now I've got a line and it's ready to draw another one and we're going to go to that midpoint. So now I have a line that divides up this shape into two L shapes and I want this to move up in the air. So I'm going to, if you did this exact, I'm going to hold down, I need to select both of them at the same time. So I hold down shift and click on that one. So now I've got a line that I need to move just the line. So M for move, and I'm going to click and move this up in the air. Now it looks like I've got some strange shapes appearing, but it doesn't really make those those color. So that is now a roof line. Let me show you that again. I'm gonna draw a line from this midpoint to this midpoint by hovering over it, I know exactly where to stop. Selecting both of those, space bar goes back to my selection tool, shift click, and move in the upwards direction. Now, this and this and that, just press the up arrow to lock it in to that vertical move. Now, how far do you move it? A reasonable amount. You can have a tall roof, you can have a short roof. Just don't make a ridiculously tall one and don't make it so you can't really tell. Give us a little bit of roof, something that looks good to you. 
And now we've got the basic beginning of our house. Orbit around, you need to get good at zooming in on certain parts. Orbiting, zooming in, holding down the orbit button, that's your middle mouse wheel, and moving around, getting around your house. You're gonna be doing this a lot, so I want you to get comfortable with it.